So, and, and what are the, so as we look forward, if you look at these, these data, which I'm not going to bore you with, um, and I've given you the great Dean Martin joke, but it also, in all seriousness, it, pl it plays into our planning. The um, state of California projected Latino population uh, uh, projections for the next 50 years um, in about in the late 80s, and they redid them, and they lowered the estimates. You know why? Because they realized they had based their estimates on immigrant, immigrant uh, uh, birth rates during an immigrant population, a uh, birth boom, after the passing of IRCA in 1986. There was a little baby boom. And they, then they realized, oh my god, we're, we were essentially projecting behavior out from an immigrant population that may not look anything like their children or their grandchildren. And this is not really, I mean, this, it's odd that it's provocative that I say this. Like, children of immigrants are not their parents. I mean, throw rocks at me. But they're not. You can ask any cab driver in, in, in Washington, will your children be like you? And they'll say, absolutely. But they won't be. And that's the American story. And it continues to be the American story. And so, so I think what the median institutions like museums are, 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 I think, obliged to do is to help that process along. Not a process of sameness, but a process of closing the social distance between the foreign and the US born. And, there, and, 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 and including and creating, um, and creating a, a, a space in which these people feel, feel more and more comfortable in, the, in, this new, in this new country and their children so.